Being in the Leader Dog program is a program of honor for these men. They have to work very hard to get in the program and even to stay in the program. They don't get any leeway as far as any of their work that they're required to do, the groups that they are to attend, and the jobs that they hold. Those also need to be performed on time and with the same expectations we would have for anybody else. So having a dog in the room with them 24 hours a day and taking them to groups and getting them socialized, they have trainings to attend. It's time management that they learn in order to fit all of that in. It is pretty powerful experience to have the dog leave after they have been with you every day, 24 hours, um, every single day. It, it's just, it's just an impact that is hard to explain. Um, we wake up at five in the morning when we get that dog, and we wake up at five in the morning when they leave us. It, it takes on us, um, and to see them succeed and to move on to someone else that is deserving of these dogs, it's. A great experience to have. Well, a lot of times we'll try and capture good behavior uh, as we see it with the dogs. You know, we're with them most of the day, and uh, we, we carry this kibble pouch here that has puppy kibble in it, and that's their rewards. That's what they eat. And anytime the dogs are, are performing and doing what they're supposed to be doing, what we're training them to do, we give them a, a kibble. And sometimes they'll surprise us. You know, we'll. We'll be walking out in the parking area where we where they go out to, to take care of business, and uh, there's tree branches that fall off and are down there. And the dog will walk right by. He'll look at it, walk right by, and then look at you. Whereas all my dogs, when I was out on the street, would have grabbed that thing, started shaking in, and uh, so we'll, that's that's a captured moment, and we'll uh, we'll reward them for that, and they learn by that to avoid picking things up off the ground that they shouldn't have. Because when they're, uh, when they're eventually uh, leading a, a blind person, we don't want them distracted by things like that. We don't want a ball running across the uh, uh, sidewalk into the street and the dog chasing after that ball and leading that person into the street, into traffic. So, uh, so those are the moments that we look for and we, we try and reward the dogs. My name is Nico Reed. Uh, this is my second, his name is Alex Parker. Uh, this is Swagger, he is nine months old. He is a golden retriever. Um, we've had him for about a month now. He definitely has an attitude of his own, but he's extremely smart. Um, I got into the program because I did 24 years in Colorado and California penal system. And I also did this program back there for two years. So for me to come over here and do it was kind of an automatic love dogs feel that it's really therapeutic and uh, yeah I like working with them a lot so I'm Alex been in the program for about eight ish months uh, like you said this is a great program to be in uh, we're doing this to give back to the community uh, and also it's a way to kind of help ourselves you know we uh, dealing with the dogs we learn a lot of good things like patience and you know um, it, it gives us um, a new way, a new experience as far as uh, unconditional love. And um, yeah, it's just it's just a great thing to be a part of. You know, it's a great way to give back. Uh, it's a great way to just, you know, use your time wisely. And uh, it's very therapeutic as well. You know, when we're having bad days, these, these guys really know how to lighten up our mood. So it's a great program to be in. Hi, my name is Anthony Durbin. Um, I'm currently in the dog program. Um, this is Sadie right here. This is a puppy. She is a black lab. She is nine or 10 weeks old. Um, I, I've been in a program for about uh, five months now. And uh, this is my assistant over here, Jeremy Larson. Um, we live together. Basically, I got in this dog program because I wanted to do something different with my time than what I used to do. Um, and um, the puppies, most of the dogs in here, we also get to name the dogs. And uh, I named her Sadie. And I told my son to uh, pick a name out for her. And um, 
He picked three names and then we settled on Sadie. So it's kind of a little special bond that we had. Um, yeah. Hey everybody, um, my name is Mason Drake. Um, this is my second assistant, Nathan Gosman. Um, this is Captain. He's about nine months old. Um, he's full of energy, loves to learn. Uh, these dogs are pretty amazing. They teach us uh, responsibility, patience, um, and um, we're able to learn through these dogs um, every day. Training with them is, is pretty special. It happens 24 hours around the clock. Just started doing the dog program about three weeks ago, kind of fresh into it. Um, still learning a lot. Um, Mason's a really good um, leader of the dogs. He's been helping me a lot to, to do things the right way. Um, you, got, you have to be assertive with the animal and that's something that I've never done in life. So like, it's really helping me to be a part of this program and, and learn the, the things that I need to do to c communicate with others in life too. Um, Captain makes it really easy because he's a really good dog. Well, again, my name's Cody and this is Ziggy. Um, I'm, uh, I'm a secondary handler to uh, Leo Wana, um, and we're in the room with Ziggy. And this being a second is, uh, it's nice being a second because you get to be one of the, not the main handler, but you get to work with the dog and live in the room with the dog. And that in itself is therapeutic. And um, you get, it's a big responsibility. You know, you're one of the main, main people that handles them, like going to lectures and groups and stuff like that. So uh, it's just nice being able to learn those different skills that you might not have learned in the world or on the streets, you know, with patience and, you know, you just develop, you develop trust with the dog and, you know, you just learn these different skills that might not come easily to you, so. The leader dog has found that these prison programs with leader dog has been at a higher success rate due to the inmates having 24 hour contact with their dogs. So when um, the blind client um, is matched with their dog, it is at no cost to them. This is also a volunteer position. We do not get paid for it. Um, this is our responsibility of taking on a role as a leader dog handler. The funds that are provided for leader dog it is all, it is all um, donations through uh, Lions Clubs, um, private donations. We um, get donated our dog food. Um, it is a, a high performance food perina, and um, as well as all of our medications, uh, vet appointments, that is all uh, privately funded. We receive the puppy between seven and eight weeks of age. Um, we are with them anywhere from seven months to about a year. And after that time has come, they have a, a return date back to Leader Dog in, in Michigan. And they, they are uh, going through four stages of training. And if they make it through the four stages, they will be matched with the client. And if they are not able to make it through their stages of training and get career changed for some reason, then um, the staff can adopt them, um, handlers, and also uh, people are looking for um, an emotional support animal 